What's up, everybody? It's your boy, Brandon Blakeney, a.k.a. Brandon Lee TV. Kick back, relax, and come take a ride with me. So there's been a lot resurfacing about Johnny Manziel since, you know, the documentary dropped. 10 out of 10 recommend, by the way. I did a review of it, so you can go check it out if you want me to dive a little deeper into that, if you want to hear about that. But... I will say it's a dope documentary. Anyways, you know, his name has been trending on social media. and He's been coming out and been associated with past Heisman Trophy winner Reggie Bush. Because, you know, they both got accused of illegal benefits and got investigated. Johnny still has his Heisman, though. Johnny's still able to attend. Johnny is still able to go to the ceremonies and, uh, you know, hop up on stage. Johnny's still able. Reggie is not, and people are sick of it, and you know what, I am one of those people, man, give Reggie Bush his damn Heisman back, it's been about 20 years, and this man's still fighting, let's get into it. You are now locked into the Live with Brandon Blakeney podcast, here is your host, Brandon Blakeney. So I want to start off by saying these are two of my favorite college athletes of all time. Johnny Manziel is absolutely my favorite college quarterback of all time. Reggie Bush is my favorite, probably my favorite college athlete overall of all time. And he is the most electrifying athlete to come through college football. And I will die on that hill right there. This man absolutely changed the game, revolutionized, made, built, operated, lived, highlight culture, man. One of the first viral sensations that was really making people look silly on the gridiron, man. The speed, the agility, the versatility, the elusiveness in space. Are you kidding me? Man, USC was rocking. And we got to admit, man, we know he brought so much exposure to that school, a national title to that school. Pete Carroll jumped to the NFL, won a Super Bowl from that school, man. Like, Reggie Bush put USC back on the map and made it cool again to be a Trojan. And he should be, he even got shunned from the school for a little bit. Like, Reggie was going through a lot of slander, man. And he even spoke about it in the interview where he talked about how, you know, his family got help from a family friend with a housing situation. You know what I'm saying? They bought a house or rented a house or at least, you know, got a house from a family friend. And, you know, basically the friend might have allegedly, you know, Called the uh, called something in and said, hey, or somebody that knew about the situation, you know, got Reggie in trouble, long story short. And, you know, Manziel went through the whole thing. And he said this on Twitter, which kind of got sparked from a fan asking why the hell Reggie ain't getting reinstated and getting his Heisman back while Johnny's got his and admitting to all this BS on tape. Quote, there is nothing I want to see more than for Reggie to get his Heisman back. I think what the NCAA did in that situation is complete bullshit. He is one of the best college football players in history and deserves to be on that stage with us every year. The only difference between my story and Reggie's is that my illegal activities did, start, did not start until after my Heisman season. Johnny was taking thousands and hundreds of thousands of dollars. There's no record. Reggie Bush has been cleared, exonerated, and he still don't have his Heisman back. And he never, there's no proof that he ever took any type of money or anything like that. And this man still ain't got his Heisman back. And I'm telling you, man, I know he talked about it, but I wouldn't have gave it back. I would not have given them my Heisman back. He worked too hard for that, man. I'm talking about Reggie was out here returning punts, returning kicks in the backfield. Out there playing wide receiver, like literally played all over the field. That man earned that Heisman more than almost any player ever did. That man worked for that Heisman, and he was absolutely the best player in college football. He could have fooled around and won two of them. Word to Matt Liner. But I digress. I'm just saying, man, it, it just seems like. It's the right thing to do. And people on the post, you can tell, 
looking at the tweets, man, people are all in agreement. Like, bro, Reggie Bush deserves one an apology at this point. His Heisman and to be reinstated. There's no way he should be out here missing Heisman trophy ceremonies. And Manziel's just out here living his best life, still able to go, still able to be in the commercials. You know what I'm saying? Still being able to be associated. Still welcomed by the community. It's not right, man. It's not right. It's a double standard that we're looking at right now. We can't stand for it, man. Free Reggie. Free Reggie. Get Reggie Bush his Heisman back. And that's it. Let me know how y'all feel about everything in the comments, man. Let me know, is this who's right, who's wrong? When, what does the NCAA do? What can they do to get this right? Y'all holler at me and let me know how y'all feel about the situation. And make sure you hit that subscribe button for all the latest and the greatest. I am Brandon Blakeney, a.k.a. Brandon Lee TV. This is Live with Brandon Blakeney. Until next time, hey, we out.